Hello there. So this time I got a question about PHP and this is related to a CTF task from... I actually don't know which CTF because I just got it out of context. Anyway, the question is about comparing to PHP arrays and how to make these arrays match. And the comparison is done using the identical operator. So it's not, you know, the double equal equality operator, which is really weird in PHP. It's about the identical operator, which is considered to be safer. Now, I guess an important thing to note here is that the PHP version was also specified and that was actually 559. So yeah, this is something to keep in mind. Usually when the version is specified, that means that um, there's some behavior at play, which change later in later versions. Now, the code looks, well, like this. It's rather simple, I would say, right? So we basically get a controlled parameter, which is stuff. And I actually emulated it here so we can do the same in code without having to go through a web browser. It's a little easier to experiment this way. And then we had a, we have a hard-coded array. And the array contains just two elements, admin and user. So this will have index zero, or actually key zero. And this will have index one or key one. Now, arrays in PHP are more like ordered dictionaries, I would say. So everything you add has a key and the order does matter. Now, the comparison itself actually has, well, there are, there are actually, sorry, there are actually two comparisons, right? The first one checks whether the arrays are identical, the one which we provide and the one which is hard coded. And the other one checks if the first element or actually the zeroth element isn't admin. So it's really hard to do as you can see, because well, the, the zeroth element is supposed to be admin for the array to be identical at all. But well, it cannot be equal at the same time, and this is rather hard to achieve. So the question I got is basically how to do it. And I tried a couple of different things. Actually, uh, this part was also mm, a little different. There was a single ampersand here, but it doesn't change the code at all. Therefore, I just, um, I'm going to skip it and just focus on the comparisons themselves. So. I tried a couple of things related to maybe the key can be a float, maybe something else, but in the end nothing worked. So I went to the default option where the default option is always go and look inside the code. As in the code, the implementation of the PHP, the Zend engine, which has these operators, the identical operator implemented to see how it actually works. Because, well, you need to understand in depth how something works to be able to hack it, right? Let's see how this code behaves right now. And well, it just fails, which is pretty obvious, right? Because well, currently staff is a string and is not really an array, but let's switch it to an array. And then let's look at the, mm, at the code. So I'm going to make sure that the first comparison actually works. So the array of key zero is supposed to be equal to admin and the array of key one is supposed to be equal to user. Okay, and now we can run it and it fails. Uh, we probably should check in this case, where does it fail? So I'm going to do a, not a car dump, a var dump of this expression and the var dump of the other expression. And now we can see which expression actually fails. And well, the first one is true because the arrays are now identical. And yes, in case you didn't know, you can pass arrays through post and get parameters. I'm not sure about cookies, but I'm pretty sure about these two. It's it's not obvious, right? Because you're used to strings. But yeah, strings and arrays are the two things you can actually pass through them. Cool. So let's look on how the identical operator is implemented. And I have this file opened. It's called Zend operators and it's in obviously in the PHP source directory. And the function is called is identical function, which if you look into the code, you will find out that the identical operator actually just calls this function. It gets two operands, one being, well, the left operand of the identical operator and the second being the right operand. And then the code is rather simple, I would say, right? What's going on here is it checks whether the types of 
these things both operands are the same because they are not the same when we know they cannot be identical. And then it there's a case for each type. It basically checks what basically what type it is and then uses the proper comparison function. Um, yeah, if you didn't know, PHP has internally types, obviously. All dynamically typed languages have. They are just, you know, casted between each other seamlessly. Now, our code is actually an array, right? So we get to this case and we can see that it checks whether this is maybe the same array. If you compare the same array with the same array, it's obviously identical. But apart from that, it calls the zend hash compare function with both arrays and also another function to basically be called for each um, of the comparisons. Now, this function is actually implemented up there and it only calls this, this identical function. So we are not going to analyze it, but we are going to take a look at zend hash compare function. I have it open already. It's in the zend hash file. It's not really long. It's basically just a recursive recursive dive into the array because you know each element might be an array as well. And then you have to recursively check whether its um, elements are identical. Now, the interesting part is um, here, we are actually focusing on the ordered array which is what uh, what our arrays are, right? So we do have 0, 1 uh, as the indexes, the keys are integer, integers, they're not strings. So we basically fall into, into these two conditions. If the key length is 0, then this actually means that this is uh, an integer key. And the integer key is in this field, the field which is h. I'm not sure what h stands for here. I guess it's used as a hash later on, but Whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just an index. Now, if you look what's going on here, it actually does, um, well, it subtracts one value of the other and checks if the result is not equal to zero. Because if you take the two same numbers, like give seven and seven, and if you subtract them, then you get zero, right? This is a pretty common way to do comparison, especially in assembly. Uh, for for example, the CMD uh, from x86, um, uh, sorry, CMP from x86 assembly is just doing exactly that. It's just doing subtraction and updating the flags without updating the results. Anyway, so this is a pretty common thing, though in high-level code you don't really have to do it unless you want to return the difference between the two keys as the result. And um, this is the problematic part, actually. So let's see the types. Well, let's check the types. What is the result and what is the h? I'm going to start with, actually, the h. The h is defined as a bucket, and as you can see, the type is u long, which is unsigned long, and this, depending on the system and on the compiler and on some other defines, it will be either a 32-bit variable, especially on Windows, even on 64-bit Windows, it will be a 32-bit variable. On 64-bit Linux, it's going to be 64-bit variable, which is a little weird, right, to have this kind of differences between Windows and Linux, but that's the case, and in PHP that shows. So we know that this is a 64-bit variable, probably I'm running the code and the task on the CTF was on a 64-bit Linux, by the way, so we have a 64-bit variable here. So we just need to check the result, and the result is int. Yes, as you can see here, it's just an int. And an int is actually a 32-bit variable. Therefore, what happens if we have two numbers and both numbers are 64-bit and we do, mm, we basically do, you know, a, a subtraction, right? So let's assume one number is really, really huge. And I'm going to write a hexadecimal number since it's a, a little easier to count bits that way. So we have this number, mm, 9, and we subtract another number. Let's assume we subtract 0 from it, just for the sake of simplicity. So, well, if you subtract zero, that doesn't really change. We get this number as a result. However, because the, mm, the output type, the result type, is only 32 bits, and this number actually requires, I guess, um, 33 bits, exactly 33 bits, so more than 20, uh, 32 bits to store it, that means this one here is going to be removed and it will never make it to the to the final result variable. So we get this number. So what would happen if the number would actually have zeros here? Well, the result would be zero, right? 
But before that, like on the upper bits, we could have anything. We could have uh, one, two, three, for example. And that way, the one, two, three, zero, zero, zero would be would seem equal to seem to be equal to zero, according to this and hash compare function. So let's try it. Let's basically create an array where one index is kind of zero, but not really zero, and um, then it's being compared to the hard-coded array, which actually has zero as the, as the index. So I'm going to change the zero here to a huge number, which is, um, is known that it doesn't fit, oh, sorry, the, the bottom 32 bits are actually equal to zero. So let's just, I'm, I'm going to use Python to just make up this number. It's going to be one with eight zeros. Okay, here we go, and this is the number, which is, uh, well, basically four gigabytes, well, not bytes, four gigas. I'm going to put it here, okay, I'm going to exit Python, and I'm going to run the code. And that's it. As you can see, we actually got an equality here on both fronts, and we got a perfect result. And again, this is because this number is uh, requires at least 33 bits, so it fits well into a 64-bit variable. But if you subtract a zero, this zero actually from this number, and fit the result into a 32-bit variable, you get zero. Therefore, according to this operator on this version of PHP, it matches. So yeah, uh, as I understand this was actually just part of a task, but yeah, this was what I was asked about, and I found it really, really interesting. Now, I actually did some digging, and if you go to the PHP um, bugs site, bugs.php.net, there is this bug, 69.89.2, or 69.892, which says that different arrays compare identical due to integer truncation, which is exactly this bug, and it was fixed in 2000. 15, I guess, so newer versions of PHP have it fixed, but the older versions still have this back. And that's it for today. Thank you, and see you next time.